Hi and welcome to part 4 in my mini-series Using the Modes. Today we're looking at the Lydian mode, which is the fourth mode of the major scale. It has the formula 1, 2, 3, sharp 4, 5, 6 and 7. So if we take any major scale and sharpen the fourth degree, we will have a Lydian scale. We use this scale when soloing over major chords, major 7 chords, but specifically major 7 sharp 11 chords. As we did in the previous three videos, we're looking at this mode with the note G being in the root. As Lydian is the fourth mode of the major scale, we need to find where the note G would be the fourth degree of a major scale. And here we can see that G would be the fourth note of a D major scale. The D major scale contains the notes D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp and D for our octave. The scale would be harmonized like this. D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, A major, B minor and C sharp diminished. And if you need to know more about chord harmonization, check out the link I've put in the description. Just as we did in our previous videos, we're going to take the 4 and the 5 chords of the parent scale, in this case D major, and put the root of the mode, G, in the bass. This will give us G over G, or just G, and A over G. Once again, to reinforce the sound of the mode, we will be playing the G note as a pedal tone, i.e. a continuous drone. Here are those chords, shown as chord diagrams and as tab. Now let's start using these modes using the following five licks. Each lick is followed by a one minute backing track and a long version of this track can be found at the end of the video. Make sure you start each lick at a comfortable pace and slowly increase the speed. Okay, so lick number one. We start with our first finger on the third fret of the E string, i.e. the note G, and we're going to use our second finger to hammer on to the fifth fret of the same string. Now we're moving across to the A string, we're going to play four and then hammer to five. We do the same on the D string, still with fingers one and two, four, hammer to five. Move to the G string, we're using our first finger on the 4th fret and we're going to hammer on to the 6th fret with our 3rd finger this time. So we have... From there we're going into bend position and we're going to do... a half bend there. And back to the 4th fret. Jumping across to the 7th fret of the B string. Another half bend there. Back to the 5th fret. Then up to the 12th fret. For a whole bend.
Okay, lick number two. We're going to be starting on the fourth fret with our first finger. That's on the G string. We're going to then hammer on to the sixth fret and then the seventh fret. So we have... And then we're just going to pull them off back to that four. Onto the D string now. We're leading with our little finger on the seventh fret and we're going seven, five, four. And then we're going to hammer up again. So we get... And then pull off again. So far. Now you can see that I did a hammer on from nowhere there. You can do that. Just hammer on, or you can pick it if you want to. Carrying on then, we're going to come on to the A string, the seventh fret, then the fifth fret, then the fourth fret. So these are all pull offs. So we got hammer on initially, then pulling off. So we have. So far. Now I'm hammering on, just doing a hammer on from nowhere here, or you can pick it up to you onto the uh, what we, seventh fret here, onto the seventh fret of the E string, and we're going to pull off quite a big stretch this to the third fret. So far. Now from there, I'm going to hammer onto the seventh fret here because we've just played the third. There's that big stretch again. Now we're going to go to the A string fourth fret and we're playing four to seven. That's a hammer on there as well. So we've got three to seven. So pick and hammer on, then four to seven, pick and hammer on. We do the same thing on the D string, four to seven. The same thing on the G string, but we're now going to land the third finger on this seventh fret. So this is quite a stretch as well. The reason is because we're going to do a slide to the 11th fret and it's much easier to slide with the third finger than it is the little finger. So we have... And apply some vibrato. Okay, here is our third lick. We're starting with the first finger on the fifth fret of the high E, and we're going to hammer and pull to the nine. So we get... Now our third finger is going to go to the B string on the eighth fret, and we're going to be going between eight and five. So we're going to do a pull off to five, and then hammer on to eight again. So we get... So it's five, nine, five, eight, 
five, eight. So we're thinking for timing here. One, E and a, two, E and a, three, E and a. Now we're going to move this forward to fret 7 and 10 on the E string. Slightly different idea, but it's the same principle. We're doing 7, hammer on to 10 and pull off back to 7 again. Onto the B string we're going 10, pull off to 8 and hammer on to 10 again. So we have... And to finish up, we're going to do a full bend on the 10th fret of the B string. Now, of course, this is just being done with semi-quavers. You could make them sextuplets. Or just work on speeding them up. So the whole thing. Ooh, a little bit high on the bend there. Or you could even go, should you so desire. Okay, so for this one we're starting on the 7th fret of the E string and we're going to hammer on to the 9th fret with our 3rd finger and then the 10th fret with our little finger. Now we're going to tap onto the 12th fret with our 2nd finger still holding the pick and pull off. Now we're doing a hammer on from nowhere onto the 10th fret of the B string with our little finger and we're going to pull off to the 8th fret and then to the 7th fret. And then we're going to do hammer on to the 8 and then hammer on to the 10. So we have... Now we're going to tap the 12 on the B string and go all the way back down to the 7th fret by using pull offs. So we have... Doing a hammer on from nowhere onto the 9th fret of the G string, pulling off to the 7th fret and then going immediately into half bend on the 6th fret. So we get... 